everybody. Welcome to Big Fish, Little Fish on a Sunday. We're off the Banks Peninsula today. Big track on the grass, Craig. And look, I thought it was a tricky day to punt. But a race that really interested me was race four. Two horses to race in the Cup Day Maiden. Hugo Boss versus Bad Ombre. I thought both horses actually suited by the big grass track. Yeah, Michael, you've got to work into that um, Cup Day form or Show Day form going to lesser venues. Good morning to you. Um, and the, both those horses are pretty good coming through that Cup Day Maiden. We've seen in the past, if you go back years and years and years, every horse that goes out of the Cup Day Maiden, when they run first to eighth, the horses that run fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth go on to win their next start. And I really like Hugo Boss here. I think he's a big, big horse that the grass track will really suit him. So, yeah, I think they're the two. But the Robert Dunn one uh, by Art Major, clearly top pick for me in race number four. Yeah, and Bad Ombre had no luck. He probably doesn't have any change-up speed just yet, but I thought he was a bit luckless in the cup they made as well. So second line draw today, but I thought he was going to be hard, uh, or the hardest for Hugo Boss to beat. A horse I've tipped a few times on the show was actually pretty good during cup week with no luck. Drops back to junior drivers. Better fly, Craig. I keep tipping it, and I think the grass actually suits it. It's in race six today. I, I think it finds almost the ideal race. Yeah, uh, race and two for me, Michael. I, I, I was going to make my value bet in this race for, for Big Fish, Little Fish, a horse called Mad Lou Lee. I thought better, better fly clearly the main danger, but Mad Lou Lee really impressed me at the trials the other day, watching the Miffin workouts uh, from last Saturday. Thought it ran to the line really nicely. Um, it's only ever won four and all of them on the grass. And it picked up Cherie Tomlinson as a junior driver for the junior driver's race. And I think it's a huge advantage. Um, Michael, when you're going forward to these races, she'll be positive. So really liked it on an each way basis. I think better fly clearly the main danger. You might get a little bit better odds around Mad Luli. All right. What's your other plays for the day at Banks Peninsula? Monte Corrara today for those having a, having a bit. Well, there's a horse going around in race number eight. If you're looking for a long shot on the day, and we tend to find at Banks Peninsula, Mott or Miffin, you always find at least five or six double figure old winners on the day. Player Vista, if you go back to Eddington the other day, uh, through show day, was really good running fifth behind Canstar. Uh, again, it's only won two races, both of them on the grass. It's coming out of Premier Day at Eddington to a lovely draw at Barrier 4. Just ticked a few boxes for me, Michael, and I reckon it's double figures. So that's a bit of each way later in the program. Hey, Craig, remind everybody at home who wants to be part of the big firm of the, of the whales tips for the week, your fish, the big fish tips. How can they get hold of all the information for all the meetings across the Harness Racing Week, which this week was actually seven meetings? Yeah, quite amazing, actually, Michael. Looking through the next month, there's 30 meetings in December. So basically one a day. So plenty of harness racing. Got a special on at the moment. It's probably the way to go, Michael. Three months. Um, $150 or so around $150 for three months. I think it's pretty good going. We're getting 30 meetings in one month. There's a fair bit of value there. Walesharness.co.nz. It's about under $2 a day. Mate, thanks for your help this weekend. To everybody having a punt on Sun, they do so responsibly. But me and the big fella, hope you're back again.